Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm very excited to be here with you um, to share some music with you. And um, on behalf of the Delta Symphony Orchestra, who I do play principal uh, oboe with, but also um, I teach at A State, teaching oboe and bassoon. So um, I've got two wonderful pieces for you, um, starting with Mary Chandler's Summer's Lease. And this piece, both pieces are for solo oboe. This piece she wrote for herself um, to perform. She was an oboist and a pianist um, in England throughout the 20th century. And this piece in particular is fun because she wrote it taking the name from a Shakespeare sonnet, number 18. Um, but it was an abstract taking from that. And each movement, there are three of them, uh, depict a different part of the day. So the first movement is morning, and you get to hear the birds as they begin to wake up. And then we have the second movement, which is noon, and you get to hear the buzzing of the bees around the flowers. And then we go into um, nightfall, and we all have been there where um, we're on the couch, we're watching our favorite show, and we begin to nod off. So this is that part of the night um, as you are nodding off into sleep before your actual full sleep. So without further ado, I'm going to start with Mary Chandler's Summer's Lease.
so i noticed our lighting was a little off a little um because we had some uh, storms passing by so i apologize for being in the dark um but that was mary chandler's summer's lease um, and i hope you heard the birds and heard the bees and felt yourself drifting off to sleep i hope you didn't drift off to sleep while i was playing but i hope you felt like you could have um, so the next piece that I'm going to play um, is a, a piece that I, is very dear to me. Um, it was written in 2000, between 2010 and 2014, um, and written by a mentor of mine at the New England Conservatory. He was um, a, a theory teacher, a solfege teacher, um, and also um, a teacher of education, music education. Um, and I actually didn't have a class with him, but he started something at New England Conservatory called the Sunday Evening Renaissance Choir. Um, it was a complete um, optional sort of thing to do, and it was kind of a ragtag sort of group that would come on Sunday evenings just to sight read Renaissance music, uh, which for a lot of people seems like the weirdest thing for people to want to do on a weekend before they're going back to school the next day. Um, but it was his um, pure enjoyment of doing that that kept us all coming. Um, and his sincere sincerity of just the activity of it that really um, kept us all engaged and really touched me. Um, at that time, I was only studying oboe. Um, many of you that know me know that I'm also a, a singer, a soprano, um, and this was the time that I thought I was done with voice, and um, then I joined this choir and realized, no, I'm still interested and want to continue singing. Um, and so he was inspired by me and my musicianship and wrote a couple of pieces for me, one called um, Homage a Charles V. Stanford, um, which is a piece that uh, I'm able to choose if I'm playing or singing, however I'd like to do it. And then he wrote this piece. And this piece is The Bird of Paradise. And it is the life cycle of a phoenix. So it starts with the birth song, and then it goes into um, the bird at its full zenith. And then, as we know with a phoenix, they, um, when they die, they go into their own ashes and then they are reborn from that. And so the final movement is called Into the Fire. Um, and this performance I'm going to dedicate to this man, Lyle Davidson, um, because he lost his life in May um, to cancer. And um, again, he was a very special person to me and I wouldn't be where I'm at um, if it wasn't for him. So without further ado, The Bird of Paradise, Lyle Davidson.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed your short little 30 minutes with me. Um, I know that I did, having a, a fun time just performing these works um, and performing them for you. Um, I want to thank the DSO for inviting me to do this um, and come into your living room um, with solo oboe works. Um, and I do want to remind you that there are events starting to happen with the DSO um, starting in September, on September 25th. There is the um, opening uh, party uh, happening and you can find information about that on the website. Uh, and then the first concert, or concerts I should say, are happening in October with a concert version of Ragtime the Musical. Um, I've played it before, I got to play it in New York, I'm excited to play it again. Lots of really good music, um, so please definitely join us, check the website for ticket info, um, and to see what the rest of the season will be. So without further ado, I will say good night and have a great rest of your evening.